Hello everyone! In this video I will explain to you what is instance-based and model-based machine learning. If you saw the previous video in this series, now you know that we can classify machine learning systems having in mind its human supervision and also if it learns incrementally or not. There is also another way to categorize a machine learning system, by how the system generalizes, and it can be done by instance-based or model-based. In case you are new here, let me tell you that I make videos and tutorials about data science and machine learning. Let's start! Starting with instance-based learning. In this type of learning, the system learns with examples by heart, looking at the characteristics of these examples and then generalizing to a new instance. It uses a similarity measure to compare these new cases with the ones that it already learned. Let's take a look at this example. Imagine that this system classifies emails as spam or not spam, and each dot represents an email. We have information about the number of bad written words in the email and the number of times that the user deleted emails from that address. And our points are classified as spam as red and not spam as green. Each instance has the two characteristics that I mentioned earlier. The system will check each instance and take into account a measure based on these characteristics. Then it will look for similarities based on this measure. And I have a question for you. Based on what I just talked about, this new data point marked as X is more similar with green or red. If you said red, you nail it, and here is why. The system will take into consideration the similarity measure, and in this case it is more similar with the red ones since they are closer. The system will continue to do the same for all the new data points based on this similarity measure. If you are enjoying so far this video, give a like to help the channel and let's move on to the model-based learning. The system uses a model to learn from all available data and predicts the new data. This is, we take a model and train it with data. After the train, we evaluate if the model's performance is as we desired. And in the final step, we use that model to make predictions. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have several data points that represent car, with the age and the respective price. Now we will train the model that can be represented by this line. It learned with all these available data and now we want to predict the price of new cars. Let's take a look at this one. We have a car that we know that it has 15 years. Based on this, the model will predict that the price is this one. And now I have another question for you. So, which type of system do you think it's best? If you have been watching the series in this channel, you already know that for a data scientist, the answer is it depends. And why? Because there are good things for each type of system. Let's say that the instance-based model, okay, you can store it and it needs to use all available data and if you want to store all this data, it will take a lot of space and plus it will take a lot of time to run all that data, but you don't need to train the model, to evaluate it, to choose between several algorithms and at the end, it also depends the type of problem that you are facing. On the other hand, we have the model based, and these models can be stored to use it in the future with new data. And every time you need to use it, you don't need the previous data, the data that you use to train the model. So it takes a lot of less space, and the model it is also faster making predictions since it only receives the new data points. On the other hand, you need to train and evaluate the model, compare several models to get the best one. But once again, in the end, it depends also the type of problem you are trying to solve. 
because for some problems you need to work with instance-based machine learning systems and in the other problems you need to work with model-based machine learning systems. And I'll finish here. I hope you'll learn how to compare these types of learning, having in mind how they generalize. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to support the channel and stay tuned because there is a lot more to come.